Praise the Lord. This is Dr. Mystic. And the topic today is God uses little people to confound those who think themselves strong. But I'm going to sing a song first. It's the kingdom's love. I'm bringing it to you. God's kingdom's love, I'm bringing it to you. Yes, God's kingdom's love, I'm bringing it to you. And so, we're looking at a picture today of Gideon with 300 soldiers. Open up your Bible to Judges 7. Matter of fact, let's look at Judges 6 first. When God sends his angels to approach Gideon, who's in a cave. I'm going to read a little bit of bits and pieces here today to give you an idea and a picture of what Gideon was doing and how he felt. And before I go into it, I'm just going to quote in my heart, make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands, serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing, be thankful unto him, know ye that the Lord he is God. Is he that hath made us, not we ourselves? We are the people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endureth to all generations. When we think about Gideon being in this cave, he feels small, he feels hurt, he doesn't feel very important. As a matter of fact, in Judges 6, when the angel approaches him, we're looking at Gideon, book of Judges. He says, the 15th verse, and he said unto him, O Lord, wherewith shall I save Israel? Behold, my people and Manasseh, and I am the least of my father's house. I am the least in my father's house. Sometimes when God picks you out, you feel small. So it is when God uses people. Sometimes we feel small. Look at the ants for a few moments. Just consider them. And God tells us to consider them. Consider the ants. They are a small people. He uses the ants as a people. He looks at them as a strong people. As a protective people. Sometimes when I looked up that concept of ants, they're used as a security guards. Uh, they are providers of food, uh, bodyguards. They are givers. They're industrious people. Can you imagine ants being used like that? We can consider them brave people. Ants. We're talking about ants now. Uh, they can be considered people of courage, known to carry several times their weight. And so, God uses people of diversity. Ants, there are all kinds of ants, black ants, white ants, red ants, leaf ants, archaea ants. Different types of ants in different parts of the world. And in the book of Judges, 
God is using Gideon to put in correction the Israelite. He uses people who feel little and small to confound those who think themselves strong. And he does this because he wants to put those who think themselves mighty and strong to perplex them, to mix them up, to baffle them, to confuse them. God is always using people who someone would not think God should use. I wonder why God does that. That's the way God works. He uses here in the book of Judges, instead of using thousands and thousands and thousands of people, he uses only 300. Now look at Judges 7. Turn your Bible. I'm waiting for you. You have it? Okay, Judges 7. Let's go to the 6th verse. And the number of them that left, putting their hands to their mouth, were 300 men. But the rest of them bowed down upon their knees to drink water. And the Lord said unto Gideon, By the 300 men that left will I save and deliver the Ammonites into thine hand. Three hundred men. A lot of people could not believe it, but it was true. You only use three hundred. You see the picture that I drew? Three hundred men.